if I would have had an opportunity to ask a question, it the first one that I have on my sheet was, uh, why is President Biden going to Wilmington today? Uh, isn't that a potential crime scene? Peter Ducey explaining yesterday what he would have asked if the brief in the briefing if the White House press secretary didn't freeze him out, as everyone else was asking frenzied questions. As Attorney General Merrick Garland appoints a special counsel after more classified documents are found. And now we learn one of Biden's former aides, Kathy Chung, we don't know much about her, questioned by law enforcement over classified documents, regularly communicated with Biden's son, Hunter Biden, transmitting information about his father's schedule, according to emails. Hunter Biden recommended Chung for the executive assistant role, which she had. She also helped move the documents out of the White House at the end of the Obama administration. Saul Weisenberg, former Whitewater Deputy Independent Counsel, joins me now with his reaction. Saul, thanks for being here. Uh, first of all, Peter Ducey's question, is it a legitimate one? Like, is this one, this is a place we're looking at right now to identify if all the documents, you know, are we trusting the lawyers to have handed them all over? Is it right for him to be there? Well, it's a funny question. Yes. Uh, you know, I guess the whole the whole state, uh, you know, under that theory would be a crime scene, given how long the Biden the Biden family has controlled events in, in Delaware. But the <laughs> lawyer lawyer is going to say what a lawyer says. And you'll notice his words. You look at his words carefully. We've been cooperating since the moment we informed the National Archives about the documents. Well, that's six years after they were improperly taken. So that's kind of a meaningless statement. Uh, it's it's what you expect a, a white collar defense lawyer to say, which is which is what Dick Sauber is. Uh, would there be an ability through this special counsel to actually get to the bottom of when they knew? Could they conceivably have known years before, months before? How do you get to the bottom of that? Well, sure. Special counsel has all of the powers of a uh, of a U.S. attorney. Uh, the only difference is that uh, ultimate. Uh, well. The difference between a special counsel and an independent counsel is that he's ultimately answerable to Merrick Garland, and he's not going to do anything without uh, putting it through Merrick Garland. So the ability is there to get to the bottom of it. The question is whether the will is. Uh, her, as I mentioned the other day, is completely an establishment DOJ type. He's part of the whole Chris Ray, Kret Rod Rosenstein crowd, so I wouldn't expect anything uh, revolutionary from him. He's hardly a noted independent voice. When you look at the timing of all of this and the fact that some of this was known before the election, is it standard protocol to withhold that information if they're notified? Or do, how does the timeline look to you? Uh, the, it, it looks like, as, as um, Senator Kennedy said the other day, the powers that be have known about this at least since November, and we're just hearing about it now. I, I do think, even though I said yesterday that it's an easy political call for, for Merrick Garland to appoint a special counsel, uh, if there was really nothing there, if it was completely frivolous and inadvertent, I don't think you would have had the appointment. So they've been looking at it for some months. They had a person looking at it, and they decided to appoint a special counsel. So there's likely something there. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But, but make no mistake about it. They have the power to get to the bottom of it. The question is whether or not they have the will. It's not about the power. It's, not, it, it's all about the will and, and the investigator himself. In this case, you're saying, you're positing we, there might not be much hope. He's interested in getting to the bottom of it. We'll see. Uh, Saul Weisenberg, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on before Gilbert, the party pick. He is a tough act to follow. <laughs> Uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, we'll do our best. <laughs> well done, sir. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.